Hi, my name is Joe Murray and I'm a gastroenterologist at the Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota. And I'm talking to you today about a recent paper just published about a new test that may help diagnose celiac disease in patients who've already been on a gluten-free diet. The group of researchers from the Royal Melbourne Hospital in Australia um, have been working on a test that involves the treatment or the giving patients three days of gluten and then testing their blood for a reaction of the blood cells against gluten. Now this, is a, this new development is a test that might help us when we're faced with patients who've been on a gluten-free diet for a long time, have felt some benefit, and are very concerned about the discomfort and perhaps risks of going on a gluten challenge. In the past, when faced with such patients, our usual approach has been to challenge them with gluten often for as long as six weeks or longer. And obviously for some patients that can produce a lot of symptoms and which can interfere with their life in many ways. This study looked at the giving patients three days of gluten and then looked at the blood cell reaction to gluten several days later. And they were able to distinguish between those patients who had celiac disease as a cause of their gluten sensitivity and those who did not have celiac disease. Now this advance holds great promise for those particular patients, which now are almost the majority of people coming to see their doctor seeking testing for celiac disease. Many of them are already on a gluten-free diet. Now this is brand new research. It's going to take quite some time for this test to be further developed. Much more research is going to need to be done to bring it to our local lab or local doctor's office or certainly gastroenterologist's office. So this is not ready yet for um, approved use, but it shows a lot of promise. The researchers also have said it may be useful when studying the effect of another potential treatment, a vaccine treatment for celiac disease. And that is also an exciting area for a, a new treatment approach which is undergoing trials at the present time. So interesting new work, future interest. We'll keep a close eye on this space and uh, see what uh, comes of it. Thank you.